Kevin, against the best, statistically, the best defense in the league, for you guys to perform that offensively, or is it Individually, just being uh, fundamentally sound on your shots, make taking good shots, taking efficient shots, and I mean, uh, not forcing things. Uh, I think that's what we we continue to do that all night. Find our shots individually, and they were happen to go in. So, but I think uh, defensively, we were on one string all night. Kevin, there's there's been a discussion today, kind of around this team, um, even JB Cavs coach Rick mentioned it as well. That it seems like the focus here has lately has solely been on basketball. And it's just it's quieter for a team that isn't used to that. Do you feel it? Is it? Do you? Does it feel quieter and easier than it has been around here in a while? Yeah, to, to be honest, I think we've always been about ball. You know, I think. Um, no disrespect to what, y'all, what you guys do. I just think the outside noise from the media and the fans just make it seem like we don't care about the game or we are not focused on the task ahead. But I thought uh, we always been that way. And you know, it's the fact that, you know, you don't have much to talk about outside of the game. So, you know, that's not adding to the, you know, discussion around our team, you know. So, so many voices. I mean, everybody has a platform. So, so many voices, you know, t- speaking on what we do inside our locker room when they have, re- they don't really have an idea. I think that's the noise that you that you hear. But from us, we always been about the game. We struggle early on. I'm not saying we didn't struggle, but we always were focused on playing basketball. I think the other people were trying to look for stuff, um, you know, to. Uh, put on our team, label our team, whatever. I know the Kyrie stuff may be what you're talking about, but um, I felt like we always been about the game, all of us. Kevin, to that point, did you feel like the group after all that stuff needed to refocus itself together? Um, I felt like we always been focused. I felt like we don't even talk about some of the stuff that may have been loud around our team. Like, I had so many friends. It's like, yo, K, you all right, man? What's going on? Like. Man, so much craziness going on with y'all, but I'm go to work and go home. Like, there's more noise on the outside for us to be honest, and it's been like that since day one. But we, we, what we did was simplify both ends of the basketball, um, shored up our roles individually. Coach shored up our roles, is pretty much letting us know each day what we, what he needs from us, and I think that's been the focus, you know. So. It's not like, man, finally we got the noise out of our locker room and now we can play. I just think we always been locked in on, on basketball and trying to help uh, get this thing back on track. You um, you passed Tim Duncan tonight, 15th on the all-time scoring list. Does that kind of th- is that the kind of thing that, that you take a moment to, to notice or to appreciate? And, and if so, what, is that, what does it mean to you to, to get there? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, uh, you want to just show up every day, um, but at some point you got to celebrate some small wins, just like a win tonight. It's cool to celebrate that with your team. Um, so in my career, to be able to you know pass an all-time great legend, like somebody who shifted and changed the game, is uh, it's something that I'll call my folks about tonight and, and talk over and just reminisce on the time, you know how we got here. You know, so it's pretty cool to do stuff like that and. I want to celebrate those small things, but, you know, keep pressing forward. I know I got more to do. Kevin, now that you've had a chance to see the Cavaliers this year, how are they different from last year's playing team? Obviously the addition of Mitchell, but just then specifically, you know, how have they grown and matured uh, here this season? Yeah, uh, I mean, Mitchell is the main the main key to that. You know, he's probably the main reason why they took this leap. But it's also a year experience, a year playing together. Continuity in this league is underrated. You know, so much movement in free agency and coaches and, you know, so much movement in these organizations from top to bottom. It's good to have some continuity. And you, when you see guys you've been with for a couple years. It just makes him, makes you more comfortable on the floor. So you see that, but on top of all of that, Donovan Mitchell is the is the, the key to, you know, uh, this change for this team. And it's, uh, it's the reason why you look at them as contenders at this point. He's just such a dynamic, dynamic player since the, the moment he stepped into the league. So for you to get him, and, you know, he's the reason why things have changed. Got to get up with two of the biggest stops at the end. Got the tie-up on Mitchell and then the block on, on Darius. Um, Defensively, obviously, he's had the impact he's had, but even offensively, both ends. Um, how have you seen him grow over the last few years? I just gave, gaining more confidence. He's always been a, a confident player, but uh, 
you couple that confidence with like understanding of the game and you know and, and trusting in your your work. I think that's uh, the reason why he's here. Uh, you know, coaching staff been patient with his development since he got drafted, and um, you know he's going out there and wanting to be great. You know, and I think that's a that's a tough journey to be in, relied upon every night, being consistent, and then just that longevity. You know, I think that's what he wanted to get to as a player is consistently doing this every day for 15 years. You know, so that's a that's what he's uh, he's thinking about, and it's cool to see it kind of unravel at this point. Uh, but he knows he got a long ways to go. We have a long ways to go as a team, so we can't get complacent at this point.